Oh my god, oh my god, it's an earthquake, it's an earthquake, and she's getting attacked by bats at the same time. What's up everybody, welcome back to Wednesday videos in 2022. Thank you guys so much for your patience during my break. It's been so nice, like relaxing a little bit, taking it a little more easy in January. I also went on a vacation. If you're ever interested in what I'm up to day to day, you can go check out all of the details on my Instagram, at Kelsey Dangerous. And I thought to start this new year off right, I want a challenge, not just any challenge, the challenge that will end all challenges. Brought to us by the masochist himself, James Turner. So he's the first person I saw do this challenge where you take every single lot challenge and you enable all of them on the lot. You might have not played this or not even knew about the lot challenges, but essentially on a lot, you can add little challenges, be they like creepy crawlies, you're haunted, there'll be volcanic activity, there'll be foxes stealing stuff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna bring in a sim, I'm gonna put them down on a lot, put on all the lot challenges, and without any other challenge, just see how awful this experience is gonna be. So without further ado, let's grab our sacrificial sim. So I have grabbed our sim. It is the iconic Chelsea Peach May. It's been years since I've played as her. So I thought it might be about time to bring her back. I downloaded her, of course, from the BuzzFeed Gallery BF Game Squad. I'm thinking I might give her like a little updated CC makeover, given that, you know, now I'm a CC queen. I love that I, it's like I'm getting to see my new school manner of like giving a sim. Also, what is going on with her like chin? I feel like my chin is more like this. Also, why are your lips so wide. There you go. Yeah, sure. She looks a little more like me now. Probably a little less like Chelsea, but hey, you know, this is uh, the 2022 version. Oh my gosh, look at Chelsea. 2022 Chelsea. Should I give her some CC hair to top it off? I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with CC hair. Maybe we should. Look at that. Look at updated Chelsea. Okay. I'm obsessed with updated Chelsea. I'll add her to the gallery after so that you guys can play with her. <laughs> okay, so we're here on the lot in Sulani. It's called Caldera Camp. And here we are with the treats and challenges. So if you go in here, there are 12 total lot challenges currently in game. We will be including all of them. So first up is Creepy Crawly. Seems like some creepy pests have taken up residence here. We got cursed. A lot of things seem to go wrong here. Filthy, from clogged sewers to grimy counters, this place gets dirty really quickly. Gremlin stuff breaks here a lot. Like there are tiny goblins that come out at night and smash things. We got Grody. The Sim has a chance to get nauseous when eating, drinking, and using the bathroom. Off the grid, which means we are not connected to the utility grid. So we need to be able to like just live off the land. We're in a quake zone. So there'll be minor tremors. Generates compostable and recyclable trash and outdoor cans are no longer bottomless. Actively managing the trash output is a must. I don't think I've ever done that before in game. Simple living. So we have to cook all of the ingredients that we make. <sighs> We have to cook using like only ingredients that we have in the house. Oh my gosh. Spooky, we are going to be haunted. We've got, of course, volcanic activity. We already had that. This lot is near an active volcano. Beware of earthquakes, steam vents, and occasional lava bombs. And wild foxes. The foxes will appear on this lot being a nuisance to your garden, chickens, and rabbits. We have a total of 12 lot challenges. No lot traits. We don't get any help. <laughs> I don't think any of our stuff is actually friendly to being off the grid. So let me go in here and I'm gonna have to like redo some of our items so that we are able to function off the grid. We'll have, I suppose this like postmodern shower. Oh, we have a good sink for that actually. All right, so all of these things seem to be functionally off the grid. This light probably won't work. So we might want to get like some sort of candle or maybe like this thing in here. Oh God, that's huge. Okay, we won't be using that. This feels more like camping. It'd be kind of funny to put that in there. So that's what we get. And then in the house, uh, looks like we have a lot of these like overhead lights. Those have 
got to go. Instead, we will be using these little guys will be kind of nice, you know? These little glowing lamp kind of thing. That's cute in there. Maybe in the kitchen we'll do... Chandelier just feels a little ridiculous. Oh, this rustic one's kind of nice though. Maybe we'll do that. Awesome. Cooking appliances. It looks like we already have one, the yum cooker. The fridge is not an option here, so we need to get a different fridge. Maybe this one? Here we go. Here's a fridge that might work. I guess there's water over here, so maybe we can get water that way. Here's a household generator. We still have a little bit of money, but I think it'll be funny not to have much power. So we'll stick where we are right now, and we'll, I guess I'll just discover what pressure points they're gonna be as we go. Chelsea, your only goal is to survive. Chelsea 22, household is off the grid. All right, so we have to collect water around the world. So let's start by gathering some water, I suppose. Chelsea's already reading a book. What a scholarly babe she is. Look at her. She's already like, I'm gonna get put on my little cute swimsuit. You know, it's a hot summer day. I feel like it's the calm before the storm right now where, you know, I just turned everything on. It is generating a water surplus. Oh, look at us. Okay, she grabbed her water from the ocean. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, but glad we did it. Okay, so we could add ice here. Okay, we're gonna have to add ice and off the grid cooking. Excellent. All right, we have nothing. We can't cook anything. So I guess we'll need to find some sort of food. I wonder, should I try to plant things? Like farm our food or should we like try to get delivery? Order a delivery. We can't because we're off the grid. Okay, so we definitely need to farm. All right, what things can we like survive off of? Oh, 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 oh power doesn't work off the grid. I think you know what we can make? A garden salad. We just need tomato and lettuce. Awesome. Well, lettuce takes forever to grow. I think we're gonna go fruit salad on this one. So we just need any two fruits. I guess this means we'll have to buy some things to plant. I can't use anything on my phone. Oh, look, it's a person. Why is there an exclamation point over her head? I've literally never seen anything like that before. Okay, ooh, it's a pineapple plant. Okay, so we found a pineapple plant. It's gonna take a minute for it to grow. Ooh, we could go fishing, right? Okay, let's try to go fishing. Maybe f we could eat the fish. I don't think we can cook the fish is the problem. Maybe there'll be like a grill nearby. Look at her. She's like, will this be better than having a hundred babies? I don't know. She technically, I think only had like 33. That's still a lot of babies. Oh, she got one, she got one, she got one. She got a minnow. That's very small, Chelsea. It's worth six simoleons. Cool. Can you get anything bigger than a minnow? You're gonna get hungry eventually, Chelsea. Okay, we got Celestial Grouper. Ooh, a medium. Okay, good Good for us, good for us. Oh, and we got a perch. Perch are pretty tasty, right? Oh, and perch is apparently an invasive species that damages the local ecosystem. So that's probably good. Good job, Chelsea. She is level 10 of parenting, writing, and cooking. Nailing it. Fishing was obviously the next logical step. She's happy about her home. Oh, she's like, I'm making a difference catching invasive fish. Ooh, the goldfish is also an invasive fish. Wow. I don't know if you'd want to eat a goldfish though, Chelsea. Could we like put it as a pet? Ooh, she likes fishing. That is very convenient for us. Oh my gosh, look at all the beautiful butterflies. That's pretty cute. All right, is there anything else that we can do all around here? We just gotta wait for this pineapple plant to grow, really. And then we can source our pineapples from there. We cannot cook this fish, right? <gasps> fish on a stick. We can cook the fish. Oh, she's angry. Why is she angry? Voodoo pain. Has someone got it out for Chelsea? I'm glad that we can cook fish, but it does take two fish to make one fish on a stick. That doesn't end up being a pet, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, we could just, you know, I think it's, I'm killing this fish. Okay, would we need like a, a pet bowl, like a fish bowl? <gasps> you can buy a fish bowl. You know what? I kind of want Chelsea to have a pet. I know this is like completely unrelated to the challenge, but I just think this would be cute to have a fish bowl. So I'm putting this fish in the bowl. Boom. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I've never done that before. Look, it's alive. Oh, she's super mad. The fish are cooking, so. Oh no, a fire. Oh my God, a fire. Chelsea, Chelsea, extinguish the fire. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Does that mean we just wasted two fish? People are here. It's Jeffrey Landgrab. Did you bring me food, Jeffrey? Oh my gosh, we have to replace it now. And we're down 
two fish. Our food is gone. This is worthless. All right, let's welcome the neighbors, I suppose. <sighs> Do you guys have food for me, please? She's so scared. She's like, this was terrifying, all the fire. Yeah, it was kind of terrifying, wasn't it? I did not enjoy any of that. Why are they mad? Let's go introduce ourselves. This guy is really mad. Like, Simeon, let's cool it down, buddy. All right, I don't know why you're mad. I was the one that just wasted my time trying to make fish and then failing. I need a second fish. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, leaf wrapped whole fish. Okay, okay, nice. All right, we can make that. We're not really hungry yet, but we're a little hungry. None of them brought me a fruit, whatever they called fruit cake, fruit pie, whatever it is. Nobody brought me one, so I'm kind of mad. I need to put my fish somewhere. Okay, here we go. I wanted to put it in the middle of the table. Excellent. What should we name this fish? I am naming it Cleo. <laughs> Cleo the fish. Please, please don't start another fire. We did it. Okay, we made our first fish dinner. Incredible, incredible work there, Chelsea. I'm really proud of you. We did it. Off the grid and everything. Ha, first challenge down. This isn't that hard. I'm a pro. This is not bad at all, she says before everything goes south. Okay, wait, is this in our backyard? What is this? A wild kava shrub? Yay, okay, well, we'll definitely be scavenging some fruits and veggies. Okay. Okay, is there something going on between these two? She's feeling really confident because she extinguished that fire. And now she wants to go have a drink at the club. She's like, let's party, I survived. She's talking about being a writer. She's on a vacation, rough and tumble in it for a future book. Cool, so, so far so good. Go pee like a champion. And I guess we'll socialize with these people to get her social skill up. You know, that was a pretty successful first day. Fix bad relationship. Oh, they're in a fight. Okay, yeah, let's, let's help them fix their bad relationship with each other. Oh, they like bonded over that, over her trying to fix their relationship. That's really cute. Oh God, he's wearing that terrible ring. Ooh, he likes S-pop music. Nice. Oh God, what the heck, dude? You are so rude. Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, dude. That's so rude. Oh my, I can't believe he knocked over my trash can and then danced in the trash itself. Like that is so rude. Oh, we're naming it Cleo. Boom. Cleo, how you doing? Cleo's doing great. Good night, Cleo. All right, here we go. I'm very excited for something bad to happen. Any minute now. Oh gosh, something malicious happened during the night and bro, oh my God, everything, everything is broken. Everything, wait, even the bathroom. Bathroom. All the things in the bathroom are broken too. Oh no, but no hauntings yet. Excellent. Oh, look, <gasps> we can harvest all the kava root. Yes. Okay. Well, she's doing great. She's hungry again. Oh God. What if she dies trying to repair all these things? Is this going to happen every night? Wait, what's this? Pile of discarded food. Okay. Compost it. How do we compost it? Oh, cool. She composted it. I don't know how, but we have this kava root. Is there anything we can cook? with the kava root? No, kava root's like pretty much basically useless. All right, let's start repairing. I'm so, so nervous. Why is it so dirty? I don't know, girl. I don't know. The gremlins came. She's really hungry. Can we eat the kava root? We can. All right, sick. She's gonna just eat it raw. Please don't die. 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 Yes, okay, excellent, excellent. All right, so she, she ate some kava root. It wasn't like super filling, but it's fine. Let's mop up some stuff and then repair that. Okay, here she goes. Nature's revenge from eating, what the heck? From eating harvested fruits or vegetables. Chelsea felt great when she proudly plucked some produce and started munching away. Decimated and devoured and vindicated vegetables made their final stand, raging war in her digestive tract. Hopefully Chelsea's managed to get her toilet working off the grid. No! Oh, this sucks. She soiled herself because she was eating crappy stuff and now her hygiene is terrible. Oh my gosh. Well, our toilet isn't working off the grid. We have to fix it and neither is our shower. Oh my God. It really was the calm before the storm. Fix the shower, Chelsea, please. You gotta fix it in order to take a shower and de-stink. She's getting hungry again. Oh my gosh, no. Come on, Chelsea, you got this. Oh my gosh, she needs to go to the bathroom again. Oh my gosh. Take a quick and tempid shower. No, we don't wanna go 
go to a lounge, Simeon. We are fighting for our life out here. Can we not go to the bathroom in the shower? Oh my God, she just wet herself again. Oh my God, oh my God. No, stop drinking water. This is a nightmare. It's literally almost noon and all we've done is try to repair things all day. All right, take another quick shower. I think I need to go get water now because we've wasted all of it. Why do we even have a sink out here? I don't feel like I need it. <laughs> the smell is killing me. The smell is also killing me, Chelsea, all right? Oh God, oh God, oh my God, oh my God. I've, ne <laughs> I've never had an earthquake before. Seismophobia, this area is known to have tremors now and then being here makes the Sims constantly tense. Oh my gosh, okay, let's mop up the floor. All right, the bathroom is at least fixed. Yep, this is not fixed still, but we do need more water. So let's hike, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, that's looking rough today. D <laughs> no, okay, let's gather water. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She's so embarrassed from peeing herself twice. All of her needs are so bad. She's so embarrassed from peeing herself. Go get the water. Okay, let's repair that and then we can add some ice. All right, go, go add some ice. All right, oh God, please don't be electrocuted. Luckily her repair skill is going up. Okay, excellent. All right, she's grabbing, what is that? Uh, some sort of juice maybe? All right, let's mop. And then we're gonna add some ice. Not that there's anything in the fridge. There isn't, fun fact. There is nothing in the fridge. But we put our ice in the fridge in case we ever, I don't know, get anything to put in the fridge. We're gonna use the toilet and then we're gonna take a quick and tepid shower. Ooh, a taro root. Okay, we could probably eat that. Where is the pineapple tree? Is this it? Wild pineapple plant. Mm, pineapple's not given any pineapples yet. All right, we need to go fishing then because she's hungry. Ooh, look, 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 look. There's a, uh, no, it's a bathroom. I was like, ooh, there's something over here. Oh, and there's a tree, a coconut tree. Okay, we could get coconuts at some point, but not right now. All right, let's just go fishing again. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Her social and fun are both very down. I'm not surprised, but I think her fun will go up when she's fishing because she likes fishing, which is very convenient for us. All right, here she goes. Fishing time, baby and right on time because she is hungry. Night one wasn't fun, not fun at all. And off the grid is like, mm -mm. Oh, she caught the eyes of Sulani. I don't know what that means. I don't think I can eat it. So great. Yeah, it's just a really expensive thing. That's not gonna help me at all. She caught a new fish. Yes. Okay, great. We got one fish. Oh, we got a we got a minnow. Okay, excellent, excellent. We're gonna go home. We have two fish. I think we have enough. Her social's really low. I wonder if there's anyone around we could talk to. Well, maybe a ghost will show up and uh, she'll socialize with. Wait, 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 sir. Hello, hello. I'm a I'm a woman in need of socialization. Mortimer Goth. Hi, how are you? Cry about peeing yourself. That would be a very oversharing moment from Chelsea. She's like, I peed myself twice and I almost peed myself a third time. Discuss interests. We're just trying to work on that social. Let's have a deep conversation. Oh, we're getting really hungry. Oh my God, did they just make out? Chelsea, I did not tell you to do that. She's not even in a 100 baby challenge and she's already seducing men left and right. Okay, she's running home. Hopefully nothing bad has happened on our lot since we've been gone. Okay, excellent, excellent. Wait, she's gonna go to bed? No, 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 you should cook. You should cook off the grid with your fish. Ooh, heck yeah! <gasps> I can make a family size? Oh, this is next level. This is next level. Let's put our fish in the fridge. Oh, Makoa, if you steal any of my food, Makoa, I swear to Jorb. This food is not for you, sir. You have a home. You have a wife. But I'm glad I'm getting more socializing for Chelsea. You know, she deserves nice things. I don't think she likes being alone. We are getting that hunger fixed. We even still have some kava root. This is perfect. And we got to compost the stuff in our inventory. Here we go. There we go. No, Makoa, that is mine. Makoa, I'm so mad at you. Put my food down and get out of my house. That is my food. I worked really hard for that stew, okay, sir? Oh God, night two. I'm nervous, very nervous. Our girl is asleep. Will she survive? Oh, she did. Wait, nope. She's gonna be attacked by plasma bats. That doesn't sound fun. Oh my God, oh my God. It's a earthquake, it's an earthquake. And she's getting attacked by bats at the same time. Oh girl, oh you poor thing. Oh my gosh. She She's so mad and stinky. Oh my gosh, she's so uncomfortable. Oh wow, this is bad. This is very bad. She's gonna go take a shower and uh, use the toilet. Oh my gosh. What else is she mad about? Extremely afraid of the earthquake and she's still embarrassed about peeing herself and will be for another four hours. So far I'm doing pretty good, okay? We're managing. Are we thriving? No, but we are surviving. Sore from chores, okay. She's emptying the trash. All right, good for you, girl. Go empty that trash. Ah. 
I don't know what that was. I feel like it might have been her soreness, but it was really funny. How are our uh, plants? Are the tarot ones fine? How about this one? Anything? Ooh, it looks like, uh, oh, there's some harvestables in the kava. Nice. All right, we're just gonna live off of cooked kava plant. That's gonna be my lifestyle. I feel like that's fine. How's this going? <gasps> we can harvest the coconuts too, but not the pineapples yet. Okay, slowly but surely. I'm gonna keep looking for all the things we can scavenge around this beautiful island. Okay, didn't find anything else, but she's running to go get the coconuts before Makoa steals it. Flippin' Makoa. Wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, which isn't far because he looks like a tall man. <laughs> Amazing, we are coconuts. We're feeling good. We're feeling focused. This is queen energy right here. She's gonna survive on kava root and coconut. Woohoo! It's gonna be great. She's thriving. Okay, so we can still do fish on a stick. We can do forager stew, the leaf wrapped whole fish, and nothing else? We can't even do like a fruit salad? What about canning? Nope, now she's reading because apparently that's her only hobby anymore is reading. You could be swimming in this ocean. Ugh, that's a suspect. I'm a, I'm a little nervous about that guy. Okay, she grabbed a bit more of her stew. Oh, and look who showed up, but Mortimer Goth. He's having a crush on her. He's like, I've got a gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. We are not neighbors. You do not live in Sulani. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. No, you weren't. It's like a 10 hour flight from you or something. Well, maybe like five to six hours minimum. Oh, starter flowers. I don't think I can eat flowers. That was kind of a very useless gift to me, but we're gonna open it anyway and see what's up. He's still here. See, look, he is flirting with us. I knew he had an ulterior motive to be here. Eat my stew. I'm eating my stew, man. He just keeps flirting with us. We have not even flirted with him. I'm not even doing that. I'm not stopping it, but I'm not letting it happen. And yet it still keeps happening. Cool, man. Thing. He's giving her some really intense stories right now, trying to flex for her. He showed up in a tank top, really putting on the moves. And Chelsea's like, you know, loves attention. I feel like Chelsea gives me Libra energy sometimes. Loves to flirt, likes attention. Shout out to my Libras. Maybe she's like a Leo moon or something. Also, she's got cancer placements because I'm a cancer. All right, what's she gonna eat now? Oh, she's taking all the plates out and cleaning them. Good for her, proud of her. I'm actually kind of surprised Surprise that she, oh, nope, she's going to throw up. I was like, I feel like well, today went pretty well. No, she's throwing up all her food. Is that gonna make her hungry again? It actually didn't, which is wild. Oh, it used up the last of its water reserves. No, 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 no. How much ice do we have left? Okay, we still have a bit of ice. Oh my gosh, is she throwing up again? No, she's cleaning it because it's now disgusting because she threw up in it. All right, it's 5 p.m. Seems like we need to go out get more water after she cleans the, oh, she did not clean the toilet. All right, we'll clean the toilet after we grab water. Oh my God, she just cleaned it and then threw up in it again. Oh my God, girl, you poor thing, stop. <laughs> It's like a cycle. It's 7 p.m. I guess you can do whatever you wish to do. She wants to wash her hands. And now she's practicing flirting in the mirror. <laughs> It's putting her fun up, you know? All right, you live your dreams, Chelsea. And now she's gonna go read a book as usual because there's no other fun things to do in the house. To be honest, I feel a little bad about that, but you know, you're living the slow life here, Chelsea. And now she's taking herself to bed. Night three. Oh, I'm not looking forward to what happens night three. Oh God, she's gonna get swarmed by bees. And Vlad is welcoming us to community. Great, good, good, good. Oh my God, and everything got busted again. Sounds like it's every other night. Oh my God. We're definitely gonna pee ourselves. We're gonna get swarmed by bees twice. Well, here we go. She just woke up at 3 a.m. needing to pee and she's gonna get swarmed by bees and probably pee herself. Not the bees. She gets swarmed twice. Oh my God, this is terrible. I feel like Chelsea's really living in her own horror movie right now. It's like bought an old haunted house or whatever. All right, let's try to fix this toilet in order to use it and not pee ourselves again. I don't think we'll make it. I think she'll pee herself before we can fix the toilet, but we gotta try. She's level five of handiness skill. Maybe eventually we'll have the insta fix. Oh, she dislike handiness. No, Chelsea. Chelsea dislike handiness. This is gonna be like the worst. She's never, we're gonna wanna fix anything in the house. And she reeks. 
She reeks and she can't take a shower. Oh my God, Chelsea. She's just walking through, grabbing her food from the fridge, ignoring the utter chaos that is her kitchen. And she's like, hey, what you doing, Clear? Oh no, Clear! someone ruined my kitchen. She's gonna mop. Maybe instead of mopping, you should repair the shower. I know you're gonna hate repairing and it's gonna stress you out. Yep, it is. She's very tense trying to fix this. But now you can take a shower. Isn't that nice? She's in her red dress and heels fixing a plumbing issue in the middle of the world's worst home. Nothing but respect for our queen. All right, all right, let's try, let's try repairing these things. I'm just really nervous. The more things she repairs, the more I'm thinking the risk raises of something going very, very wrong. All right, Chelsea, be extra careful, okay? I just love how she's hunched in this little heel. <laughs> Trying to fix the oven. Oh, she fixed it, good job. It's literally sounding like her personal nightmare as well. Please don't get electrocuted. Please don't get electrocuted, Chelsea. Be careful in there. You know, I really think I might've made it a little too easy on myself by like buying a house. I think if we went rags to riches on this one, it would be probably the worst experience I've ever had. Ooh, another wild pineapple plant is ne next to me. We have so many forageables. Oh no, is she on her period? Yep, she's on her period. And we don't have any access to any menstrual products, I don't think. Oh yeah, we do. Nice. All right, let's use some tampons then. There she goes. She feels a lot better now. Our fun and hygiene are definitely down. There's just always something to do. Like eventually she will run out of money and then we are going to be actually screwed. She's practicing flirting again. When left to her own devices, Chelsea is focusing on the flirt. She will seduce another woman's man. Maybe we should go fishing just to like up her fun. She's gonna go fishing because she's kind of bummed out. Look at her. She's just not having a good time. She's on her period. Oh, she caught a puffer fish. Oh no. Well, I don't think we can really use that, but cool. If she tried to cook that, I'm 100% certain she will poison herself unless we invite over someone else and cook it for them. All right, we got a clownfish. Oh, I kind of don't want to eat that because that sounds really cute. We got a parrotfish and I ran out of the daisy to use some spade. Wow, look at that parrotfish. It's gorgeous. So many fish. Are you feeling happier now, Chelsea? She is. She's having so much fun using her daisy as bait. You know who else you could be having fun with? Makoa. Go flatter Makoa. Have a bit of socialization. You deserve it, Chelsea. She's like very confident that she had some good catches today. They're having a casual discussion. Oh, he just left. Okay. He was not interested in our Chelsea. What a jerk. All right. Our Chelsea is a delight. Oh my gosh. Who is this woman? Hi. What's going on, lady? Why are you in my house? I don't know you. Wiki just showed up in my home uninvited. Hate that for me. All right, let's put all of our fish in the fridge here. And then I'm gonna try to put the clownfish in with the, nope, he won't go in, in the same bowl. All right, what if I get a big fish tank? That's what I'm spending all my money on. What if I just use all her money on the fish tank and therefore that is why we don't have any money anymore. It's a mood. Okay, let's grab Cleo, put Cleo in my inventory. We'll just sell that. And we're gonna put him in the big fish tank. See, look, we got that one. And Cleo's in there too. Yes, all our most beautiful. I mean, we could put the parrotfish in there and then take them out later. You know, the parrotfish is really pretty. I feel like it would be fun to put it in there. There you go. Look at all my fish. All right, let's grab our food. At least she's getting some socialization in there from this strange old woman visiting her home uninvited. Maybe they'll become best friends. That could be kind of fun. All right, let's go to bed. Go to bed, Chelsea. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. All right, here we go. Night four. Oh my God. Vlad's here. Vlad's here. Is he gonna? Oh no. Oh no. 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 Is that even part of the lot challenge? Am I just that unlucky? I. Are you kidding me right now? Vlad! No! Leave my girl alone. Has she not suffered enough? Has she not so- Oh my god. Oh no. She's dazed. It says mesmerized. Can't move. Oh man. Poor girl. Oh my gosh. Stealing all her plasma. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck, couldn't drink another bite. I won't turn her, but Chelsea's plasma is so delicious. It would take a lot of garlic to keep me away next time. I'll be back when I crave another midnight snack. Oh, come on rude. What possibly could happen next? Now she needs to pee again, like bursting. Why is she always like a second away from dying in terms of the restroom? I just, I don't understand. Oh, and she, yep, she peed herself. I hope no one saw me pee on myself. She's in the shower. Ah! 
Oh my gosh, the volcano. Oh my gosh, the volcano. There was a tremor and then the, there was a fireball that just came and she was bitten by a vampire. Oh my gosh, and she peed herself. What is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur egg. Try to touch. You know what? I kind of do want to try to touch it. I feel like she's going to be in a lot of pain, but I've never seen this before and I kind of want to see what happens. <gasps> oh my God. Yep. She burnt herself and now she's injured. Yep. She's uh, peed herself. She's been recently bitten. Oh my gosh. And now she takes out the trash. Like it's just a normal day in her normal life with a giant fireball on her lawn. Roaches and flies are in our trash. What is happening? Okay. Recycle and compost. We have to fix all these things. Oh my God. She's got attacked by flies. Break open. Ooh, what's inside? Is it a dragon? Look at her stomping on the roaches. Here she goes. She's opening up the lava. Oh, she got a fall. Fossil, limestone, and romanium. She's got really bad cramps and she's smelly. Um, this is not good. Night four, surprisingly bad. I did not expect all this uh, to be so bad. We, oh my God, another, enough. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be a Californian pretty quick. We're gonna take care of some of our needs here. Gotta check on her fridge to make sure the ice is, oh my gosh, it's Makoa. Why are you here? Although our social is down, so you really couldn't have come at a better time. Exchange names. Maybe they hadn't done that yet. Yet. I would hope so, though, since he just showed up in her home. She's having a pretty good time with Makoa. I wonder if she finds him attractive. Let's find out who she finds attractive, if anyone. All right, so Makoa, very attractive. All right, cool, cool, cool. Wiki, just acquaintances, just friends, just friends. Joffrey Landgrab, very attractive, really? Chelsea, Mortimer Goth is very, do you just find everyone attractive? Yep, Chelsea doesn't have a type. I should have already known. Yes, we have new Kavaru. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What about this? stuff. Tarot. No tarot yet. And then there was like another plant over here. Yeah, yeah. Our pineapple. Still not quite there. We left them alone. Are they flirting yet? Not yet. Okay. Good for you, girl. What can we cook? Okay, we can make a fruit salad. Oh, we can make a fruit salad. Nice, 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 nice. Seems like it's that's the only thing we can make. All right, fruit salad it is, baby. We'll do the fish, I think, another time. There we go. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy, as they say. I don't really know what that's from. I've just heard that online long ago. Back to the salad making. I love that for her. Makoa, you will need to refrain from eating my food or else I will kick you out once again from my home. I've really gone through it. Okay, Makoa. Oh my gosh, I think they just flirted. And now she's taking herself to bed. All right, fair enough, fair enough. She did just flirt with him. There were some hearts there. All right, we're confident. We are awake. We are awake before I pee myself, which is kind of rare, honestly. Who kicked over my trash can? Who is doing this? It's so rude. Is it an animal? Maybe it's an animal. She's enjoying her fish. She's like, all I eat is fish and fruit and uh, kava root. Oh my gosh, she's nauseous again. Again. She's probably gonna go throw up. Yep, she's gonna go throw up. I can't believe that you've been drinking people's blood with Without their permission. I have not done that. Someone did that to me. I am not a vampire. What the heck? Where did you hear that? Whatever. We're using our elbow grease to clean the toilet without using water. Okay, she's hungry again. Let's get some leftovers of our fruit salad. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Very limited in what we can eat in this house. Oh, and she's nauseous again. Again. We just ate. And she's already nauseous again. She's probably gonna go throw up. No, she's gonna go watch her fish. Oh, glad you and Cleo have bonded. It brings her such joy to wash her fish. Same. And now she's gonna go throw up. Great. And I don't even think she's gonna make it to the bathroom this time. She's just throwing up. Yep, on the floor. And now she's feeling confident, so she's gonna go practice flirting. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside your head? I do, and this is that moment. Her days and nights are entirely flipped now. Maybe because she doesn't wanna sleep at night ever since the Vlad incident happened. I don't blame her. All right, now she's gonna go watch her fish again. It actually makes her fun go up, which is really funny. She's like, I could watch these fish all day. She's gonna go swim around in the middle of the night. Wait, do you have service over here? She does, when she goes off, off her lot, she gets service. That's interesting. Oh, she likes fitness. All right, Chelsea. Oh, um, 
Oh God, it looks like they killed her. We debugged her a little bit though. Poor, poor girl. Okay, she's going home. Is she gonna make it to the toilet first? Or is she gonna pee herself for the, what? The fourth, fifth time? She's not even pregnant. She doesn't even have the excuse that she used to have. Okay, she made it to the toilet. Wow, impressive. We're gonna put her to sleep. Oh no, she's gonna get attacked by spiders when she wakes up. Oh no. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. This is stressing me out. This is like one of my biggest fears. It's just a major earthquake like that. Oh my gosh. She was scared, but she did not get attacked by the spiders. Maybe the spiders were like, you know what? I'm out. I'm out about this. Oh, look, it's a fox. There are foxes in my house. They're searching for my stuff. Get out, fox. She's like, I didn't even know Sulani had foxes and now my head hurts. Well guys, this has definitely been a challenge. I think it would be even more challenging as a rags to riches, which I think is what James did. So let me know if you'd want to check that version out of the challenge. If you'd like me to try this again, but with uh, very little in my inventory and see how long it takes me to suffer through the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. And until next time guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.